major in psychology. Brendan Patrick McGrath with a major in English. John J. McHale, Jr. with a major in English. An award is presented to a student who has achieved general scholastic excellence. This award this year is presented to Stephen A. Ferrari. <laughs> has to be one that's going to be authentic. And I am convinced here that many people have made this night possible and enabled it to take place. Parents, faculty, staff, friends. That here in this community at Cathedral College, there was a growth and experience of community. There was a growth in learning and evaluating values. And they were Jesus' values. We're just trying to establish now whether there is an immediate experience of value in, in just being, and not if it has a specific value beyond that. Now, if you just, I mean, when you see something, is there a, no, a non-reflective experience of goodness, that it, it's good that it's there? It's really boiling down to epistemological or metaphysical question of you know, what is the origin, what is the source of value? I like the expression secular priest. I like the idea of priest in the world because the diocesan priest is placed very much in the midst of the world. Bishop Mestis is a parish priest. That's what it's all about. His presence reminds us of the fact that this is our very, very special mission in the diocesan priesthood. And also, it reminds us too that as we go forth to spread the good news of Cathedral College, you most likely will be spreading the good news in the parishes. Because when it comes to encouraging vocations, we need the encouragement of parish priests, as you know so well. three weeks left in the program, and throughout the year we've kind of shared a lot of each other. But the greatest way that Christians can share is in the Eucharist, in a Mass together with each other, share their life, share in Christ. So tonight we're going to talk about 
that mass that we're going to have as a group together. And also after the mass, we'll have a party together to kind of celebrate too. We have to choose a theme for our mass, something that, that kind of reflects what we feel now. Something that kind of, it kind of moves us. So do you have any suggestions on liturgy? All right, and this is what it's all about. This is we what we believe. So you have to belt it out, all right? You have to sound like you mean it. Long live God.
should always think of the importance of the unity of the sacred priesthood. It's important for us not to be exclusive. It's important for us not to be isolationists. We have to be ready to reach out in service, but we always have to remember that in the priesthood, we share in one priesthood of Jesus Christ. And the key role on this pulpit, the key role in the entrance here to Douglaston reminds us of our unity in Christ, the great high priest. We see the unity in the sacred liturgy, in our participating in the Eucharist, which is the bond of unity and the source of great strength. I don't see very much of a difference between preparing for the priesthood and becoming a well-rounded, mature person. I think that those two walk very much hand in hand. I think that the first step uh, toward priesthood is becoming an authentic person, the authentic person that you are. The problem is, if you're going to make a value judgment, this person is good, you know, or well, that is beautiful. What is the source of that value judgment? You know, what you have to consider are your feelings, are your sentiments, you know, there's a James thing, the sentiment of rationality. You know, there's, a, there's a feeling that it makes sense. But this curve, then, you can't even do it if you wanted to do it. Your bio curve is determining your mood. You're in a rotten mood today. I think what you can say is that the goal of this place is that you will reach a certain maturity where you can sit down and decide between priesthood and the married life. That's the greatest goal you can possibly have, to, to raise up a student to a level, to a point where you can make three decisions. Francis J. Gray with a major in psychology. Stanley Thomas Capello with a major in sociology. John Joseph Barrett with a major in history. Several weeks ago, I was privileged to be here at Cathedral at the Man of La Mancha. And of course, the, you know, the impossible dream. And the word that was emphasized there was quest, a searching, a striving, a movement towards something. A star, that was a quest, a searching for a star, for the right cause, no matter how hopeless, to make right what is wrong. And so I think that if we boil that down, we'd have to say, for every Christian, for every Catholic, our life has to be a constant quest to make our life meaningful. Praise and glory.